Die Seychelles Eiland groep langs die kus van Oost-Afrika is dier Conservation International as een van die wereldse biodiversiteitsbrandpunte aangewees. Hierdie eilande waar die reese Aldabra skulpad, die skaar Seychelles suikerbekkie en een oorvloed seelewe thuis is, is een kaleidoskoop van turkoisblauw water, immergroen oerwoude en vuurige sonsondergange. Dit is nou nie eindelijk een toneel wat een mens met een tropiese eiland associeer nie. Maar waar een mense is, word afval gegenereer. En die afval moet ivers heen gaan. Hierdie is die stortingsterrein op Maai, die grootste van die Seychelles eilande. Een derde van al die afval op die stortingsterrein is plastiek. Een lande Comarmont is van die departement van omgevingssake, energie en klimaatsverandering. The government of Seychelles has always believed in a, a very clean environment and the last decade or so we've seen a, a drastic change in consumerism and we've seen that uh, there's been uh, an ever increasing amount of plastic products coming to, to Seychelles. Plastic products that in the storting terrain op eindig can meer as a duizend jaar neem om te vergaan. Maar wereldwijd wordt een groot gedeelte van gebruikte plastic producten direct in die omgeving als rommel gestrooid en verstop geete in watergange. Plastic is seen as one of the destructive, most destructive uh, types of waste because it, it takes a long time to disintegrate in the natural environment. Ongelukkig beland een baie groot percentage van al die plastic in die see waar seedere dit kan vreet, en wanneer die seekos op die ouwe op ons borde beland, raak ons uiteindelik plastiek vreters. Na beraming sal daar teen 2050 meer plastiek as vis in die oceane wees. Uh, we know some of the impacts that it has on, for example, sea turtles. They, they can't use it for, for, for food, and uh, they, they get choked and, and, and die eventually. Met die eilande se brose biodiversiteit op die spel en beperkte spasie om nog vulle soope te skep, moes Alaanse departement drastiese stappe neem. Inwoners van die Seychelles eilande gaan vanaf juli 2017 weggooibare plastiek sakke, plastiek borde, polystyreen koshouerkies en plastiek kopies en messegoed vaarwel toe roep. We are a nation that likes to go to the beach. Sometimes you have the odd, odd people leaving these, some of these products on the beach, unfortunately. So uh, this is why we decided to, to start with the, the most uh, common littering items. Omtrent 15% van Seychellese formele arbeidsmag werk direct in toerisme. En daarom is vuil bemorste strande eenvoudig buiten die kwestie. Dr. Michel Martin van die omgevings nieregeringsorganisatie Sustainability for Seychelles het een drie jaar lange veldtog teen die gebruik van polystyreen koshouwerkies gevoer. You might have noticed in Seychelles everybody and their dog has a lunch in a polystyrene box. We calculated about 15,000 boxes every single day being produced on weekdays. So we, um, we brought in 10,000 biodegradable boxes that are made from recycled sugarcane fiber. And um, we, we brought them in not to sell them or anything, we tested them out. We gave them to a lot of takeaways. Sommige verkooppunte het al reeds hierdie alternatieve koshouwerkies begin gebruik. We tested it out at our office as well. We filled it up with water overnight and to see if it would start leaking. It didn't at all. It's very compressed. I must say, it feels for me very better to eat a bakkie to eat that is made plant material, rather than a bakkie that is made from petrochemical material. Eat gerei can also be made of sycharide or hout. In India, they have themselves an eatable label entwickled wat van sorghum en ander types meel gemaak word. Well, I mean, it's not that hard to carry around a spoon or a fork, a reusable one in your bag, and then, so when you get food like that, you can just have your own. Alaas sê dat besighede wat alternatieve vir plastiekprodukte invoer, dier sy departement en die Seychelles Bureau vir standaarde gesertificeer moet wees, om te verseker dat het bio afbreekbaar is. 
but it sounds like a mammoth task to, to change a culture like this. You know, the, the people here are very proud of the environment. If you educate and sensitize them and give them the right information, they will understand where you're coming from. But also the, the effort itself is, uh, is not only government. Uh, we have a very, very good sector of environmental NGOs here. Uh, we have even young NGOs. Angelique Poupaneur and Maria Finesse as Omgevings Jeugleiers. And what was your reaction when you heard about the plastic ban? It's been beautiful seeing how different stakeholders, the ministry, the mm -hmm. government, as well as the private sector, the shops, and people, general members of the public, but especially young mm -hmm. people saying, we can do this, we're not going to put our convenience ahead of nature. The group that freiwilligers van so young as 12 in Sluit had for the last year a geen plastic sack veld to gehou. Hulle het begin met interacties by plaaslike winkelcentrums en het ook jeugdebatte by skole gereel en een online veldtocht van stapel gestuur. And did you find that young people all over had the same kind of attitude towards this whole project? No, um, there, were, there were some, what you'd say, you know, dissenting views. Yeah, a lot to at first. You're, you're trying to change a habit. But we've looked at different initiatives to do so, including right now we are currently having a campaign, campaign called Bag It Out, where we're encouraging young people to use photography, taking photos of themselves with their reusable bags and their alternatives yeah. and saying, Media. we are bagging it out, so Ooh, you can do it too. Why is it important to specifically focus on young people? You can never underestimate the power of a child. Mm -hmm. Yes, a lot in social huh? So once you get uh, the child telling the parents, actually, where are you going with that plastic bag? That's my father now uses the only reusable bag. Yeah. And I'm sure it's just to make me happy. But some habits are difficult to break. People on the island eat a lot of fresh fish, and plastic sacks are used as the best way to get out of the house from the market to the house. Michelle says that she has come with an solution for a day. So we decided to do a promotion and bring in some bags that are reusable. So they're still made of plastic, but they're strong plastic and they can be put in the freezer, washed out, rinsed and used over and over again. So we're just giving them away here today because we know it's a busy day at the church. Wanneer dit by die afdoen van die nieuwe wette kom, sê Alain die overhede gaan op besighede, eerder as die algemene verbruiker op straat focus. You know, once you, you cut off the source, eventually um, uh, you, you will find, you know, a, a large decrease in people carrying, you know, uh, reusing those plastic bags, and uh, we're already seeing it. This helps that the government has financial support. No BTW is on the invoor of plastic alternatives. Janine Baptiste works for one of the biggest supermarkets on Maai Island. Gewone plastic sakke is nie meer in die winkels beskikbaar nie. Slechts herbruikbaar is word verkoop. You can see people coming in with their bags. We see little kids, uh, children coming with their bags. And this is great news because it's going to be the future generation of Seychelles. We've been given that opportunity to be able to bring about behavioral legislative change in our country. And for me, it's, a, it's something that's close to heart, but also I feel it is a model that can be used and replicated across the world because at the end of the day, shared ocean, no yes. boundaries. <laughs> the Seychelles Islands had by Mauritius, Rodrigue Island and Madagascar aangesluit as lande in die streek wat daarop focus om die gebruik van plastic te verminder. Indië, Frankrijk en Groot-Brittannië het alle vorme van wegwaaibare plastic onwettig gemaakt in plastic winkelsakke is al reeds in Rwanda en Kenya verbied. Sal dit nie wonderlik wees as die hele Afrika by hierdie wêreldwye beweging aansluit net.